volume of data which we can say big data also so big data includes that enormous huge amount of data which is very difficult to handle and now you would be wondering why we need to handle that data so that we can get insights from it so basically in the beginning of the 21st century all this social media data came okay and there was a need to store that data properly to analyze that data here you can see the stats this enormous amount of data 23 billion text messages are sent every day Google is receiving around 3.5 billion searches daily and for YouTube more than 300 hours of videos are uploaded on YouTube even this session I have uploaded on YouTube this also comes under data with that Facebook users share more than 100 plus terabytes of data around more than 1 terabyte of images and videos are uploaded every hour on Facebook so the predicted data is 4.4 zettabytes here and you can understand you must be knowing 1024 bytes is 1 kb 1024 kb is 1 megabyte and the same goes on so we have reached around here petabyte zettabytes okay so this enormous amount of data needs to be stored properly and analyzed so that we can easily generate insights an example we can easily understand amazon prime and netflix data so more than 5 million users are registered on them the companies analyze this data and understand that what kind of movie someone likes okay on the basis of their behavior they like a biographical movie or comedy movies or thriller movies and other genres with that they show us recommended movies so that we can easily get what we want our preferred movie type in the same way we can take another example let's say i like fitness videos on youtube and i like fitness videos on facebook so i most probably go to fitness groups and uh, like those videos on youtube and facebook both so what will happen under my recommended and suggested videos i'll be getting mostly fitness videos how how facebook and youtube got to know all this because they analyze my data how much time i invest on facebook on these fitness videos fitness post how many times i share it on that basis they analyze my data and they they are now showing me mostly fitness data on my facebook and youtube platforms so these companies like facebook which owns instagram also they basically show us data on our own behavior only even on youtube if you are watching a video on the right the recommended videos you get are all mostly based on your own input now we are under types of data we can also say types of big data so it includes the structured unstructured as well as semi structured data so guys before the 21st century all the data was mostly structured why because uh, there was no social media there was no surveillance data okay so all the data basically students data college data data from government offices from private companies used to get stored under tables simple tables rows and column form that came under relational databases okay so you can easily understand why it is so easy to manage it that's why the name structured the data is actually structured you can easily divide it into rows and columns and form a table and save the data that's it okay then in the 21st century came the unstructured data so you cannot store the image data or video data in the form of rows and columns so it is unstructured hard to manage this is the actual need of today this is why we focus on data science concept so that we can easily analyze this data and get behavior from it get insights from it okay all this social media data the whatever we tweet whatever we post on facebook we post on instagram and the cctv data all are analyzed these days so that insights are been taken from it simple example you can say the cctv data is analyzed like in india also even at the time of kumbh mela there is there is lot of chaos there are lot of people so what what the cops do what the administrator do they manage the data of cctvs at a particular place in a particular area and check that there are no more than particular number of people in a particular fraction in a particular area to avoid chaos so in this way unstructured data is managed now came semi structured data to understand this data we can easily go through our indian aadhaar data so aadhaar data is semi structured because stores data in the form of structured as well as as well as unstructured structured how the name age date of birth all these get saved under row and column form that is structured form but what about our fingerprints or our images they get saved as unstructured data 
in the form of MongoDB, I should say. Semi structured data can include both of them. Social media data also, now you would be wondering how social media data is semi structured. Social media data, your tweets, let's say 10 people like your tweets, 20 people liked your post on Facebook, 3 of them shared your post on Facebook. These are numbers can be easily saved in the form of rows and columns. Okay. But the images you post on Facebook, on Twitter, the videos you post on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, that are managed using unstructured form. That is that comes under unstructured data. The same goes for sensors. 